Today's sponsor is Loot Crate. For less than $20 a month, Loot Crate gives the geek and you a special treat every month. Loot Crate's a subscription box service with over $40 worth of geek, gamer, and pop culture gear, collectibles, apparel, comics, and more delivered to your mailbox every month. This month's theme is time, quite appropriately timed with the uh, 30th anniversary of Back to the Future. In the month and year, Marty McFly travels to in Back to the Future Part 2. The timeless appeal of Bill and Ted's excellent adventure and the timey-wimey charm of Doctor Who. You have until the 19th at 9 p.m. Pacific to subscribe and receive that month's crate, and when the cutoff happens, that's it. It's over. So go to lootcrate.com slash kfgames and enter code kfgames to save $3 on your new subscription today. So Greg. Hi. You have been playing a lot of that Lego Dimensions. I wish. Mm. Okay, well I, play, I got to stream it. one day of it here, and I have been jonesing like a heroin addict for more. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry. I hear heroin's addictive, Kevin. Not that I would know. Kevin. <laughs> heroin. Kevin. Okay, so you really you really want to play more of this game. And yeah. I think this is one of those games that a lot of people aren't necessarily looking forward to. They yes. gotta see trailers for, they see stuff, and they're like, oh, that's cool. Right. I'm never gonna play that. Well, I don't even think people are looking at the trailers saying they're cool. Because like the, the my story with Lego Dimensions goes that it got announced right with like the teaser art and everything, and Colin and Greg Live was on, and we were like, Oh, this Lego Dimensions thing, it's Toys Life like we expected, and Colin was like, Greg, you're gonna get it. And I was like, Nah, man, not unless they put Superman or Ghostbusters into it. And the chat was like, they tease Ghostbusters at the end of it, and Superman's in the trailer. And I was like, motherfucker. All right, so I'm buying this game now. You know what I mean? But like, I was, I was buying it like on the sect of like, well, I like TT games. I trust them. I don't know what I'm getting though. I don't understand what the gameplay is. It going to be like Skylanders? Is it going to be like Disney Infinity, where I'm running around doing action RPG things or whatever? And then at Comic Con this year was the first time I actually play it. Went there to the Doctor Who event where they revealed all those characters. Sat down and played it, and then it all clicked, and I was like, oh. It's just a Lego game with toys. Okay. Go get them, Portillo. Go get them. Ah, oh, you lazy asshole. Uh, it's just a Lego game with the toys you put on the thing. You know what I mean? So it's already the Lego gameplay that I, I, I know that I love, right? Mm -hmm. Of collecting br brick building, picking up stuff, you know, seeing how they all interact together. Stop. You're being bad. It's UPS. We like them. They bring us toys. Um... And then, yeah, they came through this past week for Twitch. They came here at twitch.tv slash kindoffunnygames. Uh, brought it in, sat down, let me play it, switched out the figures, played it from the beginning. And, yeah, like, I'm 1,000% sold on it now and wanted more. But what I was saying is, like, my progression of slowly getting excited for it, you saw it in the chat that day. Where I started it, I put it down, you know, we have the portal, we have the second camera on all the toys and stuff. And people, just go then. People aren't. Uh, into it at all in the beginning and then when they started doing it that's when they all started freaking out in the comments like oh my wallet oh my god I can't oh, 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 yeah you know what I mean like yeah. I'm gonna buy all these things why are you doing this to me it's like once you see that game in action I think you understand what it is and why it's so amazing mm -hmm. so what what is it I haven't even seen the figures right what are they Take a little Lego guy and you put him on a little stand, and okay. that's all it is. And then you take that and you put that into the game, and they drop into the game, and you have them and their own powers and their own world. Is it just the figures, or is it also like like cars and? Shit? It's also cars and stuff. So like the, like the brilliance of this game is this weird hybrid of it's going to be the games, the Lego games you know, and then the Lego toys you know. And what I thought was really smart about it and took me back for a second then I thought well that's actually really cool is the fact that like when you get the starter pack right you get the pack it's got the game in it obviously it's got the three guys in there uh, Gan Gandalf from mm -hmm. Lord of the Rings you might know mm -hmm. Batman and then Wildstyle and then it's got you know you've seen the portal and the whole thing yeah. you get it you open the box game three guys and then all the bricks to make the portal but no instructions so then you put the game in, you go, cool. in the story, they go, okay, blah, blah, and the, the story pulls them all together, they realize what's happening, and somebody's like, well, I think we can build this portal, let's do it. And then the instruction manual pops up on the screen. So you have to stop, you put down the controller and start building the Legos there on your thing, and then you page through it on the screen to do that. And this sounds you, fucking awesome. It sounds gimmicky and stupid, but, but awesome. And I know it sounds gimmicky and stupid. I, I totally understand. I need you to believe me that it's not super gimmicky. You know what I mean? It mm -hmm. actually is them well, trying I mean, that's to the thing, like, mold their gimmicky, two worlds. But I want to do that. I mean, right? I love Legos. It's yeah. like, this is like the one thing where it's like, oh, do this thing in real life. It's like, yeah. oh, man, I need to build Legos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's exactly, awesome. exactly. And then, so then you do all that, right? And then it's like, you. you I think the Batmobile comes with it, I'm pretty sure, but don't quote me on that, because they have vehicles and all sorts of stuff. But for instance, you buy the 
uh, Back to the Future level pack, right? And it's Marty who has his little guitar, and then it's the DeLorean. I think you had a flux capacitor, too. But same deal. You open it up, and you have Marty there. You probably have to put his head on, his hair on and stuff. That's obvious. But then you have the DeLorean parts there. And so you put Marty on the thing, and it's like, okay, you're bringing Marty into the world. You also need to build this car. And so then it pops up, and you do that, and you build it, and you put it there, and then it registers to whatever you have, like, the loose vehicle yeah. tag. You put it on there. You put it there. It, re- it registers it all to the thing or whatever. But then throughout the game like every vehicle has three different mo- like d- versions right and so then it's like you can rebuild them if you want to but you don't have to or whatever and that's the same thing with this if you're in a hurry for time or whatever and you want to build it later you can skip out you don't have to build the DeLorean right now if you don't want to build the DeLorean like mm-hmm. they for me coming into it and actually sitting down and playing it I had a, a bunch of like here's where I think this could get fucked up and not be a great game you know what I mean and in the thing they went through and knocked every one of them out and I and I was I was telling them you know these were my concerns on the stream and Jonathan from TT Games his response was uh, I kept getting amazed by this that and the, like it, it it was like you know we're switching people in and out and it wasn't until we switched in Marty and then switched out Batman and put in Homer from the Simpsons that I I was I finally noticed as a Lego fan right that like their HUD was different every time. So, like, Wild Style's hearts were, like, normal Lego hearts. Homer's hearts were donuts. donuts, donuts. Uh, donuts yeah, great. you know, Marty's awesome. hearts, I think, were... They might have just been regular hearts, or they were... But it had the Back to the Future orange to yellow text oh, font cool. for everything. And everybody had that font. Like, Simpsons font was Simpsons font. And I was like, I can't believe this. And Jonathan from TT Games turns to me. He's like, I know. It's almost as if we care. You know what I mean? And <laughs> yeah. it was like, well, damn. Yeah, but, like, I've seen so many... Not phoned-in things, because like, that sounds bad, but, like... When we've talked before about, like, what's what's the future of these Toys to Life games? How many can there be? Da, 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 da. And when LEGO Dimensions got announced, right, Colin always makes the point that parents only have so much money. So if you're a Skylanders kid, you're a Skylanders kid. And if you're a Disney Infinity kid, you're a Disney Infinity kid. And what does that mean for LEGO Dimensions? And for me, and this is based on t- probably two hours total of playing this game at events and then having mm-hmm. them in the house or whatever. To me, LEGO Dimensions is the adult game of it you know what i mean not that the content's adult at all it's a lego game so yeah i can play it with you and we can have fun or your little cousin can come over and play with you and you know you have fun or whatever and but i mean i think that's something going for it that the other games don't have exactly like disney infinity and skylanders and this that and this is why i think i was so impressed with it is the fact that i came in expecting them to say the wrong thing like I, the other thing I, I threw at them was like so how do level packs work? Because, you know, you buy the figures and they come with their own world and stuff. Like, they come with basically DLC in there that you go and play their world and do their adventure. And I'm like, is it going to... Like, I'm like, I lo- love your games, don't get me wrong, and I, lo- I do love your DLC, but your DLC for LEGO Batman, right? Like, LEGO Batman 3's DLC is like, Arrow's DLC is one map. You walk in, you do everything, and it's over. It's like, you know, five, ten minutes probably, and you come back to get all the trophies and you spend maybe 20 minutes with it, right? <laughs> and I'm like, am I buying a... $30 toy and then a $5 level and he's like no let me show you and he put down the Back to the Future we went into the Back to the Future world right and it starts off and you're in you know Doc's uh, uh, you know, apartment lab or whatever and you have to build the speaker and you're doing all this different stuff and you go to the Twin Pines Mall and you do all these things and then you go to you know Hill Valley Town Square with the courthouse there and everything else right so the clock tower and you know it's 1985 and then over here if you get in the DeLorean and drive it over here you can travel through time and you can go to 2015 and it's the future back to the future of town square and if you've earned enough Lego studs you can go and spend them over here to activate the Jaws like 3D thing uh-huh. to have it going and it's like oh and like hverboards are there and it's like yeah and then you go back and you drop and you go back to 1885 you know what I mean and it's <laughs> no like no doing that it, <laughs> <laughs> for the trophies I yeah. will <laughs> but it was like he, he's like no we're not we're not you know giving you crappy DLC. We're giving you guys what you want out of these. We're not like phoning it in or anything like that. So, you know, we talk about games being platforms all the time. We even just talked about that a second ago in the last topic. Mm-hmm. But do you see this as kind of the future of Lego games? Or do you think Lego games are going to exist next to these? I think if this hits, it'll be the death of the regular Lego game over time. Mm-hmm. I don't I mean you figure right now already Lego event Lego Lego Marvel Avengers is still on the slate for January now. So yeah. it's not like it's over. Don't get me wrong. And the, we, so I think if it hits, they'll s- slowly start peeling back teams and being like, sure, we could do this, or you guys could make a Harry Potter world for this game. You know what I mean? And we'd sell a bajillion units. Like, okay, yeah, sure, why not? If it doesn't, they keep marching that direction. But the bigger question there is, do LEGO games continue in the way we know them alongside LEGO Dimensions for the people that can't come to LEGO Dimensions? You imagine... And now, granted, I'm the guy who said you'll never see Marvel in a Lego game because you know Warner Brothers owns DC, and then why would they have Marvel Lego games? And then they started making them. But right now, Disney owns Marvel. 
why would Disney license out Marvel characters to the Lego game that is competing with Disney Infinity yeah. that has all the... You know what I mean? Like, that's the weird... Lego Star Wars was such a big deal. I mean, Lego kind of just kind of makes their own rules. And we, sure. I remember back Hashtag in the break the rules. Talk, <laughs> break the rules? No, that their slogan is oh, break really? the rules. They should have said break the rules. Yeah, that would have been, been good. good. good like one. how much bricks come up in the last couple of days. Yeah. Anyways. Thanks for um, it's crazy how Legos the licensing thing they just do whatever the hell they want yeah. like how the fuck do they get Back to the Future and Superman and Simpsons and all these things in one game and it's like well, that's how the... soon until we see or how far until we see Ninja Turtles right you know? no and, and that's like, that's the, the thing they own, and that's what I was talking own. to them about and like the fact that like because somebody in the chat had said the same thing he's like well they're gonna have a hard time getting non WB properties in there and the guy like the, Jonathan stopped the stream like what are you talking about like Sure, Superman and Wonder Woman are WB properties, but Simpsons are Fox. Back to the Future is Universal. This is that. You know what I mean? He's like, there's all these different things, and I, and I was like, yeah. So why? And he's like, well, everybody wants to be a Lego. Mm -hmm. Like everybody get like Lego's already a phenomenon. You know what I mean? Like that's the thing. You don't have to worry about it being a competitor because it's been around forever. So yeah, when do they get Back to the or uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in there? When do they get Walking Dead in there? When do they? You know what I mean? When do they start doing the really goofy stuff? Like yeah, like, I don't know, but I'm super fascinated to watch this. They're saying all the right things in the same way too of a. Uh, like the platform, right? They're like, this is our platform. Mm -hmm. This is our platform for the next three years or whatever. Don't worry about it. Like, we're not going to release Lego Dimensions 2.0 and make you buy a new platform. Mm -hmm. Like, you have it. That's it. Now just get figures for it. Yeah. That's cool. You know what I mean? Like, the level packs are a cool idea. Like, and what else is cool is the fact that they're doing stuff that aren't already Legos, like Portal. Yeah, right. Like, what and, the hell? And that's the big thing, right? Of like, when you start opening up the Lego universe to games like that, that's when it gets really exciting of like, how are you going to pull in... I, I think adult gamers have never had a problem picking up the Lego games. Like when I'm like, oh, I spent 40 hours just platinuming Lego Batman. Everybody's like, oh, okay, well, that's funny, that's cool. cool. But then nobody's like, what you play Lego games? Those are for babies. Like people get what the games are because there is so much fan service mm -hmm. layered on top of like just fun gameplay that you can pick up or you can get crazy with and try to find all the red bricks mm -hmm. and collect every gold brick and do all these different things. And so yeah, if they can totally open it up where it's like, yeah, we have Portal, so now why don't we get Red Dead? Why don't we go get this? Why don't we get Uncharted? You know what I mean? Like, bring all these things in that get Master Chief, bring in all yeah. these games people love already. Yeah. I don't think they're gonna get Master Chief. You know? Mm, Mega Bloks. Mm. Uh, uh, mm. I can't wait for Mega Bloks to make a game. God. Mega Bloks <laughs> Master so, Chief Adventures? Yeah. <laughs> no, so that was the thing. It's like, yeah, I got to play it for that thing that uh, that day, and that was like the day that I kind of was like, all right, Metal Gear feels like work, so I'm gonna take a break on this platinum thing and start playing other things, just getting ready for Lego Dimensions. Yeah, because once that gets here, I'm gonna build it on this table and stream it. The <laughs> just, <laughs> just playing that damn so, thing. Okay, going back to that, you were talking about like building the cars and stuff. Yeah. Are, are they like? Uh, toned down versions of like scaled down versions of the cars or is it like an actual lego set i mean it's like it's like this it's, oh, okay, it's, okay, it's, okay. it's tiny so it's yeah, the yeah, basic yeah, yeah. version yeah, yeah yeah yeah. okay that's cool yeah there's a lot of pieces to them oh, not a lot but there's pieces to them that i don't think i i would be able to assemble on just like here's a pile of lego blocks make the delorean i couldn't do that probably uh -huh. but it's not overbearing at the same time no because uh, i i think they're very well aware that you are playing a video game you'd like to get yeah, back to the video to, game yeah, okay. <laughs> like yeah. you don't have to sit <laughs> there and like so i mean do you think this is a game that could work without the toy aspect of it? Like, do you think that they'll you could just buy the the DLC packs or whatever? Or do you need is is the toys essentially the DLC? Toys are essentially the DLC. Okay. Yeah, that's the whole that's the whole shtick to the thing. Just like every other Toys of Life game, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, and that's the, could it work if there were no toys involved? Of course, because they already do those in their Lego games and they're yeah. awesome. But the, the hook is now that having the cool toys and it is this like cool weird voting thing, right? Of like I I, I was on a Toys of Life podcast the other day where I was explaining like there had to be rules for me do getting into this. I can't just, I'm not going to buy everything because they have like Ninjago and whatever and I'm like, I don't know what that is and I don't want that and I'm not going to buy you it. Do. They're and so cool. See, and they, have the, you seen the them? The guys on the podcast said you'd be into Ninjago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, I mean, there's so, have you, have you guys seen this shit? No. The, they're fucking awesome. I mean, remember the Lego like ninjas you liked when you were younger? These are them but mixed with Power Rangers and they're fucking cool. Am I mixing it up with the other things? The no, Chimera? You're right. What's the other one? The Chimera? Chimera? There's one. That, there's no resistance this playset. There's one that's like they're like eagle people. Yeah. Okay, but this one like, ch like ch Lego or... Lego Chimera or something. I don't know. Can you move? There, there's two different things that we always see when we go to Target <laughs> with the Legos because like we're grown ass <laughs> men. Um, but they, they're like Power Rangers and they have these like crazy ass like eagle outfits. That's cool. Like, but like my things. thing is like I I wanted to be picky and choosy about it and it's I'm failing on every every level because I was like Portal of course. Yeah. DC Comics layout, I want Superman and Wonder Woman. Then I found out Superman was wave, like, three or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, well, Cyborg's wave one, so I'll, I'll take Cyborg. Just oh, they got you. And then they I was like, you, back to the future, Marty comes with a hoverboard, Doc comes with the train. And I'm like, well, I'm going to get Marty in the hoverboard. And then I saw Doc in the game, like, now nah, I'm buying Doc, too. You know what I mean? Like, 
And then I, I I had no intention of buying Homer. I saw Homer. I'm like, I want to play in Simpsons. I want to go to I want to go to Springfield and do all this different stuff. And then eventually, what's going to happen is they're going to pin me down. Where I'm sure that every one of these play sets will have DLC trophies attached to them. And then I'm going to look at my Oof. completion percentage and be like, Well, now I need Ninjago. <laughs> I, got, I got it. I might as well get that third bronze. <laughs> God help us to if like Nintendo does something like this I'm, with Pokemon. That's the thing, man. I mean, Fuck. Amiibo. Like once once that shit starts making actual gameplay sense, and that's why I think this is good. Is that it's working backwards. Yeah. So let's make a good game, and let's have these things just be mm-hmm. ways to access the game that's already right. already good. And on top of that, let's make it fun in real life. It's fucking Legos. Yeah. That's great. Amiibos are just fucking Amiibos. In like in, uh, back to in like what we're talking about, like them doing it right, is the fact that it's like, all right. So you know, I don't know if you've seen any of the clips. I don't mean to tr- tread, you know, well-known territory. Uh, you know how there's like two Batmans, right? Lego the Batman, Lego movie had Will Arnett as Batman, mm-hmm. but it was like '89 Batman, and I remember being like. Phew. Troy Baker's Lego Batman. And so now they have the Lego Batman video game version, Troy Baker Lego Batman, and then they have Will Arnett, 89 Batman. They're, they're all doing their voices. Elizabeth Banks is there doing her voice for Wild Style. Chris Pratt is there doing his voice as the dude from Lego Movie, who I don't remember the name of, and the dude from Lego Jurassic World. They got Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd to come back and yeah. make their char- you know, be their characters. It's like, hell yeah, I want to play this game, and I want you to keep making every one of these figures, every yeah. one of these worlds. That's fucking awesome. Damn, that's so legit. I'm sold. It's a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of money. That's why there has to be rules. Is the music there too or no? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no. That was the thing too. I, I forgot about this. Nobody cares. And in, in when, you, when you're in, in 1985 and you're going around, how, Power of Love is playing as you just go around that's the courthouse oh, square. That's fucking great. That is great. So it's called the Chima is what we're talking about. 